Okay, as you might have guessed, we're going to take a look at some of the best boonie hats that are available. Some of them are made in the USA, and it's interesting how these are packaged up. See how they got them wrapped around there, and these are from Proper. Uh, I'm going to go through several manufacturers here, and I'm going to let you know the ones that I really like the most. I've been testing these for days. Of course, some of these you see have not been unpacked, but I have ones that have been that I've been testing. And I'm out in the sun a lot, so I need protection from the sun, and these hats are the way to go. This one I've got in my hand right here is a Marine Corps hat, and it's actually made in the United States of America, one of the higher quality hats. They're going to run you about $20 most places on eBay if you get a real one. And they are, in my opinion, well worth the money, well worth spending extra money. You can get a Chinese-made hat for $10 or less. But in this case, I think you really do get what you pay for. Here's another one of the Marine Corps hats. You can see they come in these two different colors are the ones that I have. Very comfortable, 50% nylon, 50% cotton. Again, made in the USA. Um, good thickness to the material. Very well made. These will definitely last you a lifetime. I might add those hats are very comfortable. Here's a baseball cap version of the same hat. Again, 50% nylon, 50% cotton. But I like the brim all the way around to protect the ears from the sun as well. This one, it's nice that it has the green underneath because the lighter colors underneath will reflect light and, and get into your eyes. This, this is, it also has a snap on the side where you can snap up the brim on either side. Interesting touch. Again, 100% cotton here on this one. And I, the cotton is very comfortable but I think it's going to have a little more problems shedding the rain. But if you're in a dry environment and you like the comfort of cotton, then by all means go for the 100% cotton. Speaking of uh, waterproof, this one is completely waterproof. It's got Dentex, as you can see. This is a special fabric, multi-layer fabric. This hat has a very wide brim. It's adjustable in the back. This one was about $15. And it, it's if you need waterproof this is really the only hat I'm showing you in this whole mix that that is pretty much waterproof and that's really gonna work well in that situation you can see the adjustment in the back there where you cinch that down to make it tighter on the head and this is a very good choice if you need more protection from the rain and from the sun with that wider brim and it is comfortable even in the hot weather I tried it I played volleyball in it the other day here in the hot Florida Sun and it worked out real well here's one from rapid dominance this one is all cotton and this is very comfortable I have a couple of these and again a, a nice width to the brim it flops down over the ears nicely sort of like a bucket hat I'm going to show you a bucket hat uh, later in the video as well just for comparison sake but this is very similar in fit to a to a bucket hat here we go with another color, exactly same manufacturer, Rabbit, Rabbit Dominance, and I highly recommend these hats. And these can be had, I'm going to overlay the pricing, but I want to say around $10 or so, depending on where you buy it. And again, very comfortable hat. And I'm also going to overlay the details on which of these are, are made in USA, and I'll have some comments in the YouTube comments about that as well, because I think that's an important thing. Here's one that I believe is made in the USA. They claim on their website, but it did have some, have some loose threads you can see there uh, uh, upon unpacking. But the feel, feel of it is pretty good. The fabric feels pretty good. And I think this is a pretty high quality hat as well. It's made by Bernard Cap Company in Miami, Florida, and that's about $19 most places where you buy it. And they claim on their website that all of their uh, hats are made in the United States of America. Nice to see that. One thing I've noticed with these hats is some of them are thicker than others. This material feels good. It's, it's what I would call a medium thickness. Those Marine Corps hats I showed you earlier are probably the thickest of the boonie hats that are 50% nylon and 50% cotton. There are a couple of the all cotton ones that I showed you earlier that are pretty thick. This hat here is on the thinner side and very lightweight so if you want something extremely lightweight and this is not ripstop cotton on this hat by the way if you want something that's extremely lightweight this might be a choice for you but it wouldn't be my first choice and here we go with um, proper proper these hats have gotten some pretty good reviews and I would say for a lower priced hat you can get them for around ten dollars most places 
it's a decent hat for the money but again i would spend a little bit more and i would get those marine corps hat well actually it's twice as much but i would get those marine corps hats if for something that's going to last you pretty much a lifetime why not spend the extra ten dollars and get a made in usa really high quality hat this hat we're looking at here is a bucket hat and this does not have the uh little little places around the the hat to stick twigs in and so forth that band around that the bucket hats are famous for that's to put twigs in to disguise yourself to make you blend into the environment the bucket hat didn't have that it's just a very simple hat for keeping the sun off but again they work well and i see a lot of the old timers down here in florida wearing those bucket hats and they they're smart keeps that sun off their head and off their ears and on, off their neck a little bit so don't play or don't mess around with that sun it, it'll do some damage to you over time and and these hats are a good way to help protect yourself and have something that's comfortable on your head i do like the strap a lot of the bucket hats don't have the strap i like these boonie hats do and the strap comes in handy on a windy day to keep the uh, wind off you and you can see here proper makes these in several colors these are rip stop and these are 100 percent cotton but i believe they make them in, in other in blends as well so you can see there we got a bunch of hats and I'm going to show you one more hat here. This is the hat I've been wearing for years. It's at least 10 years old. This is made in the USA and I had that Frederick.com embroidered on there. This is a hat I've been wearing to cover events and so forth. It's been hand washed several times and it takes a beating. You can see it's faded in some areas uh, but these hats if you get a high quality one they can take a beating and they will last and last and last and that one's 10 years old. And here I'm going to show you a higher dollar hat. This is a Tilly hat, and I've used this one on vacation. I used it when I went to Russia, and it was a great hat. But they're expensive. They're, uh, this one was like $60 or $70 many, many years ago. But they hold up great. They will do a great job for you. They're pretty much waterproof and very comfortable. So that's an option if you want to spend more money. But you don't need to. So buy yourself a great hat. I, I recommend the Made in USA Marine Corps Booney hats. But any of the Made in USA boonie hats are probably a good bet for you. And enjoy and please share in your comments what uh, hat you think is best to keep that sun at bay.